Well, hello everybody, Hockey Guy here, back for OutstandingPoker.com, and uh, we're back at some $25 No Limit Tables today to uh, continue the series here on uh, just trying to uh, play some solid uh, ABC kind of uh, value poker at these levels, and um, so that's what we'll be uh, continuing to focus on today, and again, of course, that's, that's going to be... Um, just picking uh, good value hands and and uh, being aggressive, um, especially in position, raising people, raising limpers up when we have a decent hand, um, isolating the limpers, um, <clears throat> three betting when we have uh, when we believe we have a, uh, a uh, an edge in uh, in values, uh, defending our blinds aggressively, um, and that would be again with with three bets against uh, especially uh, loose raisers on the button or the cutoff and um, and then of course just uh, try to make good decisions um, not stacking off light against uh, solid players or tighter players um, not chasing without odds etc and uh, and then you know generally thinking about what we're doing when we're when we're making a decision trying to take a, a moment to <clears throat> make sure that we have a plan and, and a reason for doing what we're doing Tempting here against Scotty, 60-28 guy to uh, to limp here, but out of position, not a good idea. A uh, and then we have a, a loose guy over here with a half stack, so we're just gonna see if we can't get it all in with him. I'm perfectly happy with queens to get it in with uh, a 67-33 guy. And interestingly, we get overcalled. Um, first thing that comes to mind is he's got a big ace or a pocket pair. And uh, that's a pretty super flop for us. Um, we're just going to go ahead and bet here if he's got kings or aces, then God bless him. And he has neither. Now here, um, really like to have a love to squeeze this Scotty character here, but we'd like to have a little bit better hand to do it because he is likely to call. Um, but I think we're going to go ahead and do it anyhow. And this is, this is I mean, even though we're a little light there, this is a pretty ABC move um, from the Department of Thinking about our opponents. Um, Scotty's in there with a whole wide range of garbage. And love your call. Um, if he had a real hand, he would have uh, raised. And it puts a tremendous amount of pressure on him. Uh, when you raise both those players, players at this level don't have any idea how to react to that, and that uh, leads to the fold button an uh, awful lot of the time. And uh, the addition, we we uh, we are in position as well, so um, that is something you don't want to overdo it there, because um, I mean, Ace Eight suited is is somewhat of a weak hand. I mean, it, it can flop some, hit some flops and stuff, but you you are kind of turning that into a bluff there, so if you're not comfortable uh, c betting when you miss, um, I don't uh, I don't think it's a horrible thing to fold there, um, but eventually you will want to be able to kind of work that into your game. So because um, that was that was really using aggression position and thinking about our opponents um, to to put all those pieces together there and give us an advantage in that hand. So, because if, if you do take a flop there with the ace eight, you can't be happy if you flop an ace after you get called. Um, depending on the flop, I might <clears throat> I might just check it down or I might uh, just fire one barrel and see, see what happened. Unless you flop a flush draw or something would go with it. But you don't want to overdo that and just, you know, continually start turning junky hands into bluffs there because uh, you will probably get yourself into a little bit of trouble. Especially if you if you overdo it. 